When the larks go tweet, a tweedle leap and the doves say moo. A coo de doo doo and the sun hangs high in the Rocky Mountain sky. You know it must be love. You must be starving. Would you like to join us for dinner? Well, ma'am, that's mighty kind of you to ask. I'd love, love to. to. Now, some matches are made in phosphorus foundries, while others are made in heaven. <laughs> Either way, it all starts with a little chemistry. Oh, when the ducks go quack, a wacky, wacky, whack, and the owls say hoo, a hoo dee doo you and the stars shine bright in the Rocky Mountain night. You know it must be love. Well, Sally and her folks were mighty thankful to Mo for saving her from that bear. And Mo was mighty thankful to feel appreciated. And with all of that cordialness and niceness going around, it weren't long before they were all thankful for other things. Aww. Yep, Mo and Sally got hitched and started a family. Oh, and the bees go buzz, the buzzy buzzy buzz, and the little butterflies a flutter flutter by, and the clouds go fair through the Rocky Mountain air. Cute. You know it must be love. Mo took their domestic life like butter to a biscuit. Gone were the days of Canyon Garden and dodgeball for one wife. Anymore, Mo couldn't hit the broad side of a barn with a dodgeball, nor did he try. He was content caring for his family and walking gently. Oh, thank the Lord above. You know it must be love. <laughs> Did you remember Sliver? Yep. Never leave home without it. Mo named his walking stick Sliver. On account, it was a sliver of wood he pulled off that tree the day he met Sally. He never went anywhere without it. What with the bears and all. Now, with most stories, this could be what you might call a happy ending. Look at that. He's even walking off into the sunset with his book 